In the submittal, we can tell there's a workflow in progress, and this submittal requires my attention. I'm logged in as Dalia Garcia with DG Construction, and I'm acting as a submittal manager. In step one, Harvey Spector with Goleta General Contractors already logged into Procore to upload an attachment. In step two, I'm acting as a submittal manager, and the ball is currently in my court. I haven't responded yet. In step three, Rachel Zane with Suits Design is acting as the architect on this project. Once I've responded to the submittal, the ball will move into Rachel Zane's court. I have two options to view the attachment. I can either download or click open to get dropped off into the viewer. In this case, because I wanna mark up the attachment within Procore, we're gonna click open. The viewer shows on the left-hand side markup tools, and these markup tools appear to me because I have the ball in my court. I can pop into page three or any page that I select, and I can also use the continuous scroll feature. On the bottom of the viewer, I can zoom in, and I have an option to flip forward and back. On the left-hand side, there is an option to add a page. I can either pull in a blank page or a cover page. A cover page will include project information as well as submittal information. And the delete option appears to me because the ball is in my court and I'm the person that added the cover page. On the top of the viewer, I can change the file name. And if I change the file name within the viewer, those changes will be reflected in the submittal workflow table. Because we've started to change the attachment on the right hand side, note the word saved. Any markup as well as this cover page are automatically going to be saved. There's a download icon. I can exit out of the viewer and the last three icons on the far right. From top to bottom, submittal information. The second icon is a markup list, which is basically an activity feed of markup and a magnifying glass. I'll enter the word symbol, click enter, and we have a result on page two. I'll scroll to the bottom and we'll see the word is highlighted in blue. We'll go ahead and start some markup. I'll go with the cloud red and we'll change the thickness. I can move this cloud around and of course resize it. Because I've added markup, page two now has a blue icon indicating markup. I'll pop into page three and I'll highlight in bright green this paragraph. And on the right hand side, I'll show you markup list. Type of markup is highlight. My name, company, time, and date are provided in terms of all those details. We'll go into page nine and add an arrow and we'll change the color to purple and go a little thicker. I'm ready to add a stamp, so I'm gonna go back to page one and I'll click on the stamp icon. I have a couple of stamps to choose from and we'll go with the reviewed stamp. Again, I'm acting as a submittal manager and I can move this stamp around and of course resize it and I'll select the text to add a date here. I'll change that color to dark blue and maybe go a little smaller on the size. I'll also change that opacity by clicking on the opacity icon on the lower left. I'm done marking this attachment up, so we're gonna exit out of the viewer. The submittal workflow table now shows that the attachment in step one has a strike through. The attachment in step two has markup and the most current label. I'll go ahead and show you that the attachment in step one is no longer considered current. There's a red banner at the top. Also note, there are no markup tools. We're keeping the integrity of this attachment. I'll exit out of the viewer. Now that I'm ready to respond, I'll go ahead and click the respond button. The attachment in step two with my markup is automatically going to carry over. I still have the option to pop into the viewer and of course add additional files. In this case, I'm not gonna add any more files and I'll choose the response reviewed internally. And we know that Rachel Zane is the next person in the workflow. 
The ball is now moved into Rachel Zane's court and her response is pending. I'm gonna log in as Rachel so that you can see her perspective of this submittal. Note that on the right hand side, the top right, the initials are RZ. Logged in is Rachel Zane. She's looking at this submittal list by Ball and Court, and she's going to select the concrete submittal. The highlight is currently on step three, and she can tell immediately that there are two attachments within the submittal workflow table. The attachment in step one is striked through. The attachment in step two has a current label. So by clicking open, we'll get dropped off into the viewer. Immediately, we can see that pages one, two, three, and nine have markup. On the right-hand side, we can look at the markup list and we can go ahead and tell what type of markup the user and of course, the date and time that it occurred. We'll go ahead and scroll through and we'll add a square in purple for this section. Rachel Zane's markup is already detected in the markup list on the far right. And we'll go ahead and add a red cloud. Rachel is done with markup on this submittal. So we'll go back to page one. We'll zoom in a little and select the stamp icon. In this case, Rachel is approving the submittal. She's selecting the approved stamp and going to add text for date. Note that because the ball is currently in Rachel Zane's court, Rachel is the only person that can remove her markup. She cannot remove markup that is from a collaborator. I'll also change the opacity here and we'll go ahead and scooch that up a little. I'll exit out of the viewer. All those changes are automatically saved. And now we can see within the submittal workflow table that in step one, we still have a strike through in the attachment. And step two now has a strike through on the attachment as well. And step three now has the current attachment. There's a markup icon indicating that the attachment in step three has markup. And of course, it is current. Couple of other items to note. If I did need to pop back in as Rachel, I can click on the open link. I'll get dropped off into the viewer. I have the option to download. And of course, I can completely delete the attachment and start over. In this case, Rachel Zane is ready to respond and she'll go ahead and click her response as approved. And this submittal is now ready for distribution. It's on its way back to the submittal manager whom will close the submittal and distribute the submittal. Also, let's talk about collaborators. If Rachel Zane was in a project looking at a submittal in a viewer, and there was also another collaborator sharing the same due date with Rachel on a submittal, on the top right, Rachel would see an avatar or initials of the collaborator that also happens to be looking at the same submittal. On the right hand side, markup list will go ahead and show who has added what type of markup and of course, time and date. If Rachel clicked uh, right, clicked on her mouse and refreshed the screen, the viewer would go ahead and update and show any new markup from the collaborator. Thank you so much for watching.